What's up, YouTube? For tonight, we have a full What the Fuck Moose team. Okay, uh, this one was a highly uh, thumbed up comment and I thought I'd get this one done. Been wanting to do this one for a little while. Leave those theme team suggestions in the comment section below as usual, people. Now, um, I put a couple of uh, videos up yesterday. Well, mainly my theme team, my Wonder Trade team number two. If you guys haven't checked that out, Make sure you do. Uh, not a lot of people actually saw that one. I think YouTube was doing its thing that day. Anyways, let's get to this one. I've got two uh, very, very uh, interesting battles for you. Okay, so the idea with this team was uh, to use Pokemon that had like moves that, you know, you, it was sort of like didn't make any sense that they have or sort of just, you know, random. Like, what the hell have they got that move for? Okay, so you're starting off with uh, Ghastly here. It's going to use a Thunder Punch because it's got uh, so many hands. But seriously, it's got Thunder. It's got all these punching moves um, on it. So I gave it all the elemental punch moves like Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, uh, Fire Punch. I also put Explosion on it too. I thought that was, uh, you know, I, I know that it's a gas, but uh, it's still quite a uh, WTF move on it. Anyway, so uh, Bassadon's going to swap in to that one. At least I break it sturdy, and that's my Ghastly down there. Okay, so swapping a Rhyperia here. Now, Rhyperia, I thought would be funny if it had Surf. Um, I actually made it into a special attacking set with Lightning Rod. Uh, this was a uh, Rock Polish set. I gave it Life Orb uh, for some extra damage. I gave it Thunder as well. And it had... Uh, I'm trying to remember what the other move was. I think I only gave it those two moves there. Or some of these Pokemon didn't even have four moves. I was trying to keep in with the, uh, you know, the what the fuck moves theme. Anyways, uh, so the Bastardons are going to go for the Endure here, which is interesting. I went for the Blizzard because I was expecting another Pokemon to come in there, uh, which you'll see in a second. Okay, uh, so I'm going to take a little bit more damage there from the Life Orb. I just went for Surf again, so I was like, bugger it, it may stay in there. Go for that, and that's going to be enough to take out Bastardon. Good to see Bastardon being used anyway. So it's a really cool Pokemon. Uh, just no one ever uses it, but it, it, it's cool. I've got some good sets for it myself. All right, anyway, so we've got an even battle at the moment. We have the Octillery coming in here. I was like, mm, I might, I may outspeed this, I may not. So I decided, you know, decide to stay in there, and it's going to take me out with the Ice Beams. That sucks. That's my Rhyperior down. Rip. Anyways, I was sort of like uh, swapping between Life Orb and Weakness Policy on that one. All right, so swapping a Waylord here. Now, I gave Waylord two Z-Crystals. Obviously not. I couldn't do that in the same battle, but I swapped between them. I swapped between uh, the Breakneck Blitz on uh, one of my moves and also uh, swapped it with the Sky MZ or Fly MZ, sorry. So we're going to use our Fly MZ Bounce and as Waylord uh, uses Bounce, it goes into the air and it looks very, very, very funny. So it's, <laughs> oh my God. I love it when it flies up in there, it just bounces and smashes into the opponent and uh, that's going to be the artillery uh, down there, which is good. The other move I had on it was Self-Destruct. So this is, uh, you know, I can run that with the Self-Destruct afterwards. I can use the Fly MZ, then go boom on the Pikachu. However, they're going to use their Z move there. So I was like, damn, I'm not going to live this one. Now, speaking of Pikachu, that Pikachu theme team is going to happen. Um, hopefully, um, on the weekend, I'm going to do that one as my 400th team. I think this is like my 399th or 98th battle. So uh, we may do that one. Anyways, uh, so my Wailord's going to get Shrek there before I could do Self-Destruct. Now, obviously, I ran the Self-Destruct Normalium Z um, as the other Z Crystal. As I said, I just swapped between that Z Crystal um, in the battles that I did. All right, so swapping in Golok here. Now, Golok, is, uh, it's, it's only got Fly, guys. It does fly in the anime, obviously, but it is still pretty random that it gets it. Uh, it just doesn't look like a Pokemon that would fly there. It's got little rockets under its feet, though. So going for the uh, Choice Band Fly. Um, it's going to do so much to Vinylux, almost taking it out there, and then it's going to use Avalanche as a freaking physical set. And that's going to take me out getting double base power from going second. Oh, okay, so that's Golic down. So things aren't looking very hot at the moment there. Um, I would love to swap in a fire type there. So I've got Behemoth here using Steel Wings. It, this is probably the most randomest move out of all the Pokemon I know. And uh, I gave this one max health and max attack there. I gave it some other moves too. I, like, I needed a couple of other moves on it, but I mainly caught it around using uh, the Steel Wing. So uh, Pikachu there wasn't uh, the greatest to use uh, Steel Wing against. So swapping in a Dragalich here. Now, I have on this, I had Fairy MZ on this. I had a couple of Z Crystals actually, just if I couldn't use one. This actually gets Play Rough, which is quite interesting. Now, I gave it the Fairy MZ uh, for Play Rough, which is uh, tw or Twinkle Tackle. Uh, I didn't get to use it in this battle, but I did get to use it in the uh, bloopers and such. Okay, so I gave it Poison Touch there as well. I also gave it... Um, what was the other... I, had, I gave it one other move. It will come to me in a second. I also gave it Bounce as well, which is pretty funny. Okay, so those were the two moves that I thought were probably the most what-the-fuck on it that I had. All right, so uh, Pikachu's got to go down there. Thank God to the Poison Touch. 
Now we have the Beedrill here going. I just went for Bounce here. It's going to go for the Acrobatics there right off the bat. Uh, not doing too much to me there. And I ran max health and max attack on this, um, on this set. Okay, so the last Pokemon was also weak to bounce, so they actually couldn't swap out there. Obviously, that attack's going to dodge because I'm in the air, and I take it out with one bounce. That's B drill down, uh, which is good because Behemoth was uh, definitely weak to that one. All right, so the last Pokemon was Trevenant. Uh, I know that I'm going to get out Spev, I think. It's going to see my Fairy of Z there. Uh, I just went for bounce again. It's going to go for the Rock Slide, which is going to be enough uh, here to take out my Dragolidge there. So the last Pokemon I've got is Behemoth. And I've got Toxic on this one. I know that I'm weak to Ghost-type moves. However, I've got Toxic, Cosmic Power, and Recover, and Steel Wing. Mainly basing around Steering. Okay, so they're going to go for the uh, Phantom Force here. I went for Cosmic Power, so I'm like, that's pretty good. Uh, so they have to have, uh, you know, two turns to attack me. So I was quite confident I could win this matchup here. Okay, so plus one in uh, defense and special defense here. It's going to spank me on the arse, doing about three quarters health to me there. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to go for recover there. I just wanted to see how much it would do before I would set up like another one there. So I'm, I, you know, I'm in pretty good, damn good position here. Okay, uh, so it's going to go for the rock slide there. That's going to miss. I get the toxic off there, which is nice. Uh, now I'm trying to think what item I had on this. Uh, it'll come to me in a second. Like it uh, always does. I, actually, I think I gave it. I think I gave it something to boost P Steel Wing's power. Anyways, uh, it's gonna go for another Rock Slide here, trying to flinch me there. Um, I think I just went for the Steel Wing here to do as much damage as I could. However, I did get flinched there by the Rock Slide, so I have the Toxic there up anyway. So even with Max Attack, Steel Wing hits basically like a wet paper bag. It doesn't really do anything there because it's like just an awful move on it. Anyway, so going for that one, and it does fairly good damage there to Trevenant, um, and it's got the poison there. So I was like, sweet, the next. Turn, I'm going to be able to take it out with Steel Wing. Uh, let's go for that. Now, Trevor is going to go for the Phantom Force here. That's uh, obviously going to, my move's going to dodge there. Steel Wing's going to miss. So, locking myself into the Steel Wing here. It just lives on a little bit of health there with the Toxic. And um, you know what, guys? I get freaking max damage and it takes me out with one hit. Oh, I'm so salty. I really wanted that win. So, that, I lost against the Trevor there. Let's get on to the second battle. Uh, anyways, uh, that was against uh, Med Student on my chat, too. Um, if you guys want to battle me, that's on my chat uh, as well in the description of the video. All right, uh, this battle was against Ryan Ryan Sparks on my chat, which is uh, quite funny because his team is uh, all electric types. It's a monotype electric team. Okay, this was a fairly long battle. Okay, uh, so Lantern here is going to go for the Surf for my Rhyperia. Now, I... I was swapping between Life Orb and Weakness Policy on my Rhyperia, so I thought I might be able to get like a, a free Lightning Rod on this, so like baiting them to go for an Electric type move. Okay, so swapping in Rhyperia, and I also thought this would you know scare off the Lantern there as well. Um, obviously, I, I hadn't revealed that I was running a special set there. So here I went for the Rock Polish, and that's going to set me up there nicely. Uh, Lantern actually stays in there, and it's going to go for a Confused Ray, so that sucks. Um, now I was thinking, well, I could go for... I only have Surf and Thunder on this as my main two other moves. I don't think I, I... I only gave it like really like WTF moves there. Unfortunately, they stayed in. I kind of thought they'd swap and I went for Thunder. So the greatest play there in the world. It's going to get a Voltorb. And now it's going to go for a Surf. And uh, since I'm not running a very bulky set, it's going to be able to take me out in one shot. So I'm pretty salty about that one. I was expecting another Pokemon to come in, guys, going for that electric time move. Honestly, I had nothing to uh, had nothing to hit with the Atlanta there with that terrible move set. So swapping in my Waylord here anyway, um, I think I went for... Sorry, I went for the uh, Normalium Z here. I just lived there. This was the Normalium Z uh, self-destruct. Uh, Self-destruct's a third gen... Uh, move there as well, if you guys were wondering. Okay, so uh, Waylord does look pretty funny doing this too. Um, actually, probably one of the funniest ones. So Magikarp's pretty funny too. It just like sort of floats in the air. Anyway, so Magikarp is just going to hit it like an absolute uh, truck. And uh, just it looks like a train here. Ready? It just goes through looking like a train. Whee! Okay, so that does about half health. Then the Lantern has a freaking Citrus Berry. So I'm like, oh, that really, really sucks. So getting swept by Lantern here. Funnest, you know, I'm having a real fun time at the moment. It's going to go for the, uh, you know, the Surf there and take me out. So there wasn't much I could really do to the Lantern. Like, you know, Bounce wasn't going to do anything there. Anyway, so swapping in a Dragolich here. Now, um, I have... The physical set here with bounce and play rough. So I was hoping I could get that, um, you know, that poison, uh, poison touch happening there. All right, so uh, ice beam's going to be taken there fairly well. Play rough is going to hit it. You know, fairly good damage there, considering it's got like, you know, pretty crappy attack there. And lantern's obviously fairly bulky there. So I'd say it's got max health. Okay, so Landon's going to swap out here. Ampharos is going to come in there. Going for the play rough there anyway. <clears throat> does pretty good damage to Ampharos. I get the poison touch. I'm like, yes, that's really, really good there. Finally some luck. And uh, then I got static. So I'm like, <laughs> of course, never saw that one coming. 
All right, so here I just thought, well, it'd be just good to go for play roughly my only two attacks on this. I really tried to limit myself to moves on them. I didn't want to really want to put any other moves on there, except for the behemoth that I, th I felt that needed some other moves and the uh, WTF moves on it there. It was very, very difficult team to actually battle with. Anyway, so go for the uh, play rough again there. So another one is going to be enough to take out the Ampharos uh, here. On my nade health, however, I'm going to get outsped there and it's going to take me out with the power gem. Fortunately, though, I did get uh, some sort of damage on the Ampharos so I could take it out. Okay, so one, probably like one more turn is going to go down to that uh, poison there, whether I take it out or not. So swapping in Ghastly here, um, I've got the Ice Punch, which I can go, or Fire Punch, I can go for them, and I've got the Thunder Punch. Obviously, I'm not going to go for that, so it'd, it'd probably live. And uh, that is Ampharos down there, hitting that with my uh, my Ghastly Hands. Okay, so I got one Pokemon, guys. We got the uh, pretty close battle here. So we got uh, Luxray uh, coming in here. It's going to go for the Intimidate. Now, of course, there wasn't much I could really swap into, so I thought, bugger it, let's go for the Freeze Hacks with Ice Punch. You know, I, I've got to get some sort of luck there, but then I remembered I only get Freeze Hacks myself. All right, so it's going to hit me with a spark there, taking me down to one health. I got Focus Sash on this thing. Now I thought, well, my best play here would be try to go for Explosion, get as much damage as I possibly can on it, on the Luxray there. Unfortunately, that Intimidate really did uh, hamper the damage that I was doing uh, to that. So I'd say with that Intimidate, I probably would have got taken that out with that Ice Punch and that... Uh, Explosion damage. That's pretty funny. Okay, so uh, really close battle here at the moment. You know, definitely save worthy. Ten out of ten. So swapping uh, Garlock into this one. Now I've got the uh, I've got the choice banded. Uh, what's it? Choice banded fly. I'm going to get uh, hit by the ice fang there, doing a lot of damage there to me. Going for the fly anyway. Flying high up in the sky. Uh, I, I was thinking of running Power Herb on this, but it just didn't do any damage, so I had to run Choice Band on. All right, so anyway, they're going to swap out their Luxray. Uh, going to swap in their Pikachu here. So it's like, well, Pikachu's got pretty bad defense. This should do you know, reasonable damage to it. Does a lot there, and I get static again. Yay. What is this, a full freaking static team? Anyways, uh, I'm not looking too hot at the moment. They're going to go for Thunderbolt, expecting a swap there. I decided to stay in and go for a Fly, uh, which was good there. Alright, uh, so Pikachu is going to go down to this one. It's going to go for Protect. I'm like, for fuck's sake, it's got Protect. And uh, I get countered so hard then. Speaking of which, guys, I got countered so hard with this Golux that you have to watch the bloopers. It's it's, it's once in a lifetime shit. Anyway, so it's going to go for the uh, Scum Lot there and take me out. So my uh, Golux is going to... It's going to fly out of the sky. So I've got one more Pokemon left being my Behemoth. Guys, this is the, you know, I, know, I know what you're thinking. This is the closest battle you've ever seen in your life. But I'm coming in clutch here. Don't worry. All right, so the uh, whatever electric type move that was, Thunder or Thunderbolt, is going to miss me. Going for the Cosmic Power here. I need to get some scum ca scummy Cosmic Powers up so I can be bulky and start spamming Steel Wing uh, like a champ there. Okay, so it's going to uh, hit me with the Thunderbolt. I'm hoping I don't get static here. Uh, paralyzed or whatever it is and uh, that would be uh, rather bad because even though it would it would help my ability uh, analytic ability which powers up moves when you go second um, you know the, the fact that I'll probably get paralyzed would happen more and be like sort of a nuisance there because my speeds are very bad anyway so I know that I'm gonna out sped okay so getting a lot of cosmic powers up here uh, on the Pikachu now here I can go for either I can go for toxic or I can go for steel wing I was more leaning towards Toxic because I thought I didn't want to get uh, you know, static by that sort of thing. Okay, so going for Recover here. This bit was uh, fairly long, like something else, Kappa. Anyway, so going for the Toxic here. I think I went for Toxic on this turn. I was just making use of the, uh, you know, the matchup here because all I was really worried about was the critical hit. A Pikachu just wasn't doing like enough damage to me uh, there at all. Now, as I said, um, why this is happening, I may put another theme team up tomorrow and the Pikachu one up on the Sunday. Or I could do a double upload on Sunday. One of those two things. That'll happen uh, there for sure. I've actually got a bit of a headache at the moment, so I'm hoping I can do some more work. But, uh, you know, I've just got one of those uh, annoying headaches that uh, has been hanging around. Anyway, so it's going to go for the Thunder here. It's got Thunder and Thunderbolt, full Savage. Uh, hoping I don't get paralyzed here because that is a pretty good chance. Going for more Cosmic Powers here. <clears throat> I really needed them uh, for the remaining Pokemon, right? All right, so about time. I've got some pretty good cosmic powers up here. The toxic is going to take it out the next turn, which is nice. So here I can just go for another cosmic power, and then I can go for recover the turn afterwards, and then I'm basically good to go. Then I can start spamming Steel Wing. Okay, uh, the EVs on this one were max health and max attack. Uh, cosmic power, recover, toxic, and Steel Wing. You got to try it, guys. It's a, it's it's the greatest set ever. I actually got uh, also, guys. I got the Behemoth Sweep with uh, Steel Wing. If you want me to put that up, let me know in the comment section. Behemoth, Steel Wing, Sweep. I, 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 do you want to see it? Let me know. Anyways, we have Jolteon coming here. It's going to go for the Shadow Ball. I guess that one, because that was normally has that move there. Um, 
I'm going to go for recover here, obviously there. I just want to make sure I've got full health before I can start using Steel Wing and Toxic and that sort of thing. Okay, so it really can't touch me here. As I said, I was, I was thinking to go for the Signal Beam or the Shadow Ball or try and go for Thunder there to get the Paralysis or Crit. That was the only things I was worrying about in these matchups here. Okay, so I've got the Toxic up on the Jolteon, which is good. Um, I've got the... The Luxray is only on a little bit of health. The Lantern has a little bit over half health from the uh, time early on in the game, but I did uh, waste its Citrus Berries. That was good. So things were looking really good at the moment. I had plus six. I'm, uh, sorry, this was plus six, I think. Yeah, this was the plus six Cosmic Power here. I had plus six in Defense and Special Defense. So there was no way I was going to be able to go down except for a critical hit or I just, they had some sort of form of recovery like rest or something. I don't know. Anyway, so Jolteon's going to keep spamming Shadow Ball, obviously trying to drop my special defense or go for a crit there. Uh, going for Steel Wing now. It's not very effective against Jolteon, but it still does nice damage. Jolteon's defense is, uh, it's rather bad. So I pop a Zair Blue, not that it really matters at all. Um, I didn't have any ground type moves on me anyway. Okay, so uh, it's going to keep going for the Shadow Ball here. On my uh, Behemoth, fingers crossed there. Uh, my, my, it's, it's colored fingers across that it doesn't get uh, paralyzed. Sorry, not paralyzed. Uh, critted and then uh, paralyzed by some other electric move. That's pr as, this, as I was this thinking at this point in the game, I'm probably going to get paralyzed by some move after this. Anyway, so now it's going to go for the hidden power. I don't even know what hidden power that was, but it was super effective. It, it, guys, it was it was definitely hidden power dark. Anyway, so going for the recover here. So much coverage. And uh, I've got full health, so everything's great. Jolteon's going to go down to the toxic. Things are looking really really dandy here i've got i've got this i've got this behemoth clutch happening so there's three more pokemon left we have the luxray coming in here on low health um even though it intimidated me that didn't really matter too much I had toxic and uh, it still does some sort of damage against me okay so it's gonna go for the crunch here um with even with plus six that does a lot of damage it's got life orb too so i was like oh that's really good um i'm just gonna attack here because it's just going to take itself out with uh, the life orb damage there as well. Okay, so Luxray is going to go. It doesn't have like guts or anything, or it doesn't have an um, item like flame orb or anything like that, so it's not going to be as powerful. Taking itself out there with the life orb damage. So there's two more Pokemon left the Lantern, which we've already seen. The next Pokemon is the Amolga. So I was like, oh, this, is this could have some real scummy move here. Anyway, so speaking of scum, it's going to go for the air slash here. I was like, please don't get flinched to death. This would be awful. Getting the Toxic off here, so that's good. We got the Toxie up. That's the main thing, right? Okay. So here I can either just go for Steel Wing and uh, take it out. And then I've got the Lantern left there. I know that Lantern had Confused Ray. I was a little bit worried about that. But apart from that, that was a good thing uh, here. Okay. So now it's going to go for the Discharge there. Doesn't do too much damage to me. I don't get paralyzed. It's like, this is really good there. I'm not getting paralyzed at the moment. So Steel Wing um, there is doing pretty good damage. The Toxic is starting to rack up on the Emolga nicely. So I guess like... Two to three more of them would be enough to take it out. Now it's going to go for another discharge here. Uh, doing no real damage to me at all. I have to go for recover here. Just in case that crit was coming, that would be really, really bad. Um, and if I got paralyzed there, it would put me in a very, very bad situation. Okay, so uh, about one more one more steel wing. One to two more steel wings with the toxic damage is going to be enough to take it out. All right, so Mulga's going for discharge again. Crits me this time. I'm like, no. Um, I use steel wing there, and it's going to do good, nice damage there to the Mulga. Uh, that really crit mad at me. Then I get static right after, so the bad luck is starting to pour in again. So I've got the crit, then the static. I'm like, oh, this isn't looking too for good people. So here I was like, well, I have to go for recover here. I have to get ready for that lantern. It's going to die the next turn, uh, you know, to the toxic there anyway. And I get paralyzed. I'm like, no, this is bad. Because now the Emolga is going to die and the Lantern is going to be able to come in and use Confuse Ray. So I'm in a little bit of a, uh, a tight spot there. Not that's a bad thing. Anyway, so we have the Lantern uh, coming in here. I know that it's going to use Confuse Ray. I know that it's going to be the, it's going to be so scummy. I, I, I low-key would do the same thing. Anyway, so it's going to use Confuse Ray against me. Uh, Parafusion. However, it's not as good this gen. Uh, but then again, um, I was remembering it's me. So it's not going to turn out too well. And I get paralyzed. I'm like, damn. I need a to I need all I need here is one recover and one toxic and it's game and I get crit at the fucking end. Seriously, I'm so salty. I oh, hope you guys enjoy this team. Hello, darkness, my old friend.